good morning from Lake Garda in Italy. It is a fine morning, if I do say so myself. Profile, silhouettes of the mountains. There's some, there's some snow up there. And uh, I'm about to wash my face and start to pack up the tent. Shop's closed, but we'll see about some coffee in the morning. Hansa left me yesterday, dropped me off. And so now I'm on my own. And we've got three weeks to kill in this country. Headed south towards Rome. Let's try and make the most of it. The camp here is uh, 28 euro a night. It's pretty good value. It's got a lot of facilities and stuff. I think that these are olive trees. Hansa was talking about them and said the color of the leaves is a little bit bland. Like uh, not a rich green. It's sort of like a flat green. And they have these sort of stumpy knobs on them. I think that that's what these are. This, the water here is crazy clear. The objective today is to ride around the, well, the, the tip where I am of the, of the lake. We only have about seven more miles, I think, before it curves around and starts along the eastern coast. And then we'll ride along uh, the road that like profiles the inner, inner edge of this lake. But the, oh, it's, it's gonna be a little hairy. The road is very narrow. And there are a ton of tunnels, at least there was a ton of tunnels on the west side. Because uh, Hansa dropped me off yesterday and we uh, drove up this area and uh, <laughs> it was pretty nuts in areas. Like the tunnels are one in a, one in a three quarter wide for vehicles and so one and three quarter and then the trike <laughs> could get a little messy <laughs> but it'll be okay. We'll figure it out. If everybody keeps their eyes open we should be all right. I have some lights on the back of the trike. I got bright colors and flags and we should be uh, a known entity. And uh, we passed some cyclists uh, on the way uh, yesterday driving and people seem to respect them in their presence. So that's good too. Morning. All right guys. Here we go. I shifted down a gear. We should have some ups and downs in the beginning of the ride. We should be riding through some tunnels. It will be fun. All right, guys, check this out. We are on the road. Not much of a shoulder, but I think we're gonna be all right. I got good attitudes, I got good feelings. Jayo. billion times to capture every little thing. Hello. Prego, This is crazy. 
but luckily I had some help. Now we're on the road. No more bike path for, I don't know how long, a little while. All right. Beautiful view though, holy moly. Holy guacamole. I need to think of some Italian ways to say holy moly. Cyclists must wear high visibility reflective vests or braces. I got high visibility panniers. That's good. Oh, this is great. You know, yesterday there wasn't anybody on the road when we drove in cycling. I saw like maybe two, but here there's a lot. And uh, that makes me, we're better in numbers. Better in numbers. Bye bye. So I'm gonna have to check this when I edit this video, but the microphone that is reverse, that's like you're hearing right now, I lost my wind muff. So what are you gonna do? <laughs>
and uh, make sure things are, are right. I'm looking at these kids playing here and I just want to bring my daughter. She would just have a riot. So much fun. Yeah, so far I am finding that the uh, east, east Coast is much better than the West Coast as far as the infrastructure on the tunnels. I am almost well within the, uh, the lines on the shoulder, which is great. On the other side, the tunnels were so narrow that, uh, yeah, I would be having a really difficult time managing traffic. I was so nervous about doing this ride today and I've gone through this series of emotions so many times where I'm like, oh, this is gonna be scary. Oh, it's a new country. Oh, it's a bridge. Oh, there's tunnels. Oh, there's traffic. And I would have to say 99% of the time, I am pleasantly surprised. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm in the lines. outside this bushes full of sailboats on a perfect day to sail. If I had a sailboat today I'd be sailing. <laughs> Although I'm sure a lot of people got to work. They're probably like shit. I should be sailing. So uh, this morning I started, if you could see it, the city right up there. As a matter of fact my camping spot last night where I woke up was beautiful. I was looking out at this side wondering how the roads were. I am very pleasantly surprised. Yeah, so that's Limone. And uh, that area right there in the middle is the campsite. Pretty cool. There's a bunch of uh, parasailing, sail, uh, sail windsurfing, all sorts of different uh, wind-related uh, activities. And it makes sense because it, uh, it is windy. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm riding into the headwind right now, so I'm, I'm like getting it in the face. beautiful little street here like really really nice no, it's okay it's okay slow is okay <laughs> no problem wow look at that that is beautiful holy moly amazing hello <laughs> all right so lunch has been had it is a late lunch like almost three o'clock but uh, I think that we can make another 30 kilometers and then end in uh, Garda. There's a city named Garda. This is Garda Lake. So I imagine that Garda city is decent sized and they'll have some nice campgrounds or maybe an Airbnb or something we can crash at. And then tomorrow should be beautiful weather as well. Uh, but as we leave the lake, I have no idea what we're getting into. I sort of expected a beautiful ride today around a lake but i'm not 100 percent sure how leaving the lake is going to be if it's any indication this is a fantastic start that's for sure i think i would actually be a pretty bad scout for a movie like like scouting locations like a cinematographer scout because i would just be like here 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 we got to shoot here we got to shoot there we certainly got to do a, a shot here Hello. <laughs> I would never be able to choose a place because every every time I see a pretty place, I'm like, you know, it'd be nice to set a camera up there and then get a ride through. And if we got to set a, I mean, the shots that I'm showing you in this video, maybe two percent of what I would really like to give you, honestly. 
it'd be nice to have an indefinite amount of power for a drone and I could just live stream the drone footage, just fly around, set it up, fly around. Only then would you get the, uh, the ultimate, ultimate riding experience. I think I'm being blessed with a beautiful day too and so I've got to appreciate that. I mean, come on, look at that sky. That's nice, very nice. Right, guys we are closing in on uh, I think the end we're at 55 kilometers there's a lot of stopping a lot of drones a lot of camera I think it was good and I also think my knees need, need a little break I don't want to do them too stressed out on the first day hey guys well we are in Garda um, it's still 20 kilometers before we were to exit the lake but I think I'm gonna stop my knees are a little bit sore no sense in pushing it. It's about 60 kilometers today, which is a pretty good day for a first one. Um, I'm gonna find a laundromat, which is like just, just down the way, and wash my clothes. And then there's a campsite that's just down from there that uh, seems nice, it's fairly high, high rated. It's a very uh, kind of cool spot. If, not super hungry, but I always, almost feel like <laughs> it'd be a shame just to leave this place without eating everything. I'm not ready to eat yet. Hopefully there's something near the campground. Today I rode into some gravel and the uh, the back of the trike is so heavy no matter how big the tires are and how off-road this thing is it's still sunk into that gravel like nobody's business. <laughs> I think I'm gonna find the tent, get camp set up first and then worry about uh, going to the laundromat. 